Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Inkscape tutorial number 9, Edit Nodes tool. Alright, so today we're going to learn how to edit the nodes and paths that you may have created in the last tutorial when we looked at the pen tool. The edit paths tool is the one right below the selection tool, it's the second one down. The quick key for that is N, so if you press N, it'll come up with this cursor. You can select some paths, and when you do, it will show the nodes. Unlike the select tool that doesn't show the nodes, the edit nodes tool will. Now if you select a single node, you notice that the handles will show. If you do not see the handles, it is because this button is not selected. So if you select the node and you're wondering where the handles are, just go ahead and click that. Now if you left click and hold a handle and drag it around, you can edit sort of that path and node. If you don't like what you've done, you can control Z to go back. You can also left click and hold on the node and drag the node around. If you don't like what you've done, control Z. If you want to move or manipulate more than one node at a time, it's very simple. You just left click and hold, draw a box around the nodes you want to select, release. Now all these nodes are selected. You can grab one of them, left click, and drag it out. If you want to get, let's say I wanted this node, not that one, and this one, and this one, you can hold the shift key and select nodes and then you can just manipulate those alright so if I select two nodes and I want to add a node in between I can select this button right here and it will pretty much put a node in between the selected nodes now I have three nodes selected and if I press it again it will put a node in between all the nodes selected so that keeps happening and it grows exponentially let's control Z and let's go back if I wanted to delete some nodes you just select them and then you press that button and it will delete the nodes now let's select two nodes here and we'll use this button break path at selected nodes to break it apart now the this is a the path has been broken right here and the way you can get them to connect again is just highlight those two it'll rejoin them I find that this is really handy if you've traced out a large object or something really complex and you get to the end and you realize, oh wait, I forgot that little segment over there. You can use this to connect it as opposed to retracing that segment out. Um, so let's go back and keep this broke. Now that's the first way and it actually moves the nodes to snap back together. But if you select these two nodes and you select this button it'll put a line in between them it'll put a path in between and if you select this one it will delete the path in between two nodes this set of buttons basically just manipulate sort of how the node is working some nodes are straight and if you want to make them a curve or if you want to make it a corner node you could use that to do that um, convert selective object to path is pretty handy so I've got some text here and if notice when I select the text with the nodes tool I don't see any nodes it's because the it's just a text object so I have all the functionality of a text tool and can manipulate it here by changing fonts and spacing and all that stuff if I go back and I want to be able well maybe I don't like how this J ends at the bottom I want to bring it up some I just select it and then I can go here convert select object to path click it now click it one more time and you'll see that now these are three individual objects and you'll see all the nodes around 
so now I have full control to manipulate it however I'd want to and that's pretty much the main stuff the rest of it is other manipulations that you probably won't use too much so please join us for our next tutorial Inkscape tutorial number 10 the pencil tool thanks for watching